Hey guys, my name's Marty Copping. Uh, here to answer a few questions about uh, the process of making my debut feature film, The Dunes. I think one of the primary determining factors was in 2015, I lost my mum. Uh, she died from alcoholism. Um, and, you know, as when you lose anyone close to you, I think it, it brings up a lot of questions within yourself uh, and a lot of emotions that can be difficult to, to process. Um, I've always been in the working king in the industry, primarily as a performer. I've been acting professionally for the past 25 years. I've been making short films since 2005. Um, in 2000, I think 15, I'd had an itch to make a feature film and I um, thought I'll put it to the test and I'd never been completely happy with any of the shorts that I'd made and uh, I made a film called Safety First which was uh, part of the AACTA social shorts which I found really encouraging and it was the first time that I'd, I'd made a, a film that I looked at and felt like I genuinely ticked all the boxes, everything from pre-production writing uh, through to performance and then post-production sound design color grade uh, and edit I got to work with some amazing people and when I saw the final product I, I felt ready I felt like I knew uh, that I was capable of making a feature film and you know competing on a on a really professional level um, I, I grew up working crew uh, with my dad he was a, a cinematographer and uh, and a producer he made Australian films back in the 60s and 70s he also ran a commercial production company and I used to crew on a lot of his commercials um, so I really came from the ground up from you know getting coffees to driving actors around to you name it I've done it basically every job <laughs> in the in the film industry and um, yeah after making after making Safety First, which got a really good response. I, uh, as I mentioned, I lost my mum in 2015 and and I wanted to work my way through that process uh, in a really positive way. I think it's very easy for people to slip into negative patterns um, to deal with difficulties in their life. And The Dunes really is a cautionary tale that the best course of action is to deal with our problems head on uh, in, in a positive way, one that benefits us and one that benefits those around us and that also benefit our community. And I think film's a, a beautiful way of doing that. Film and the arts in general, but uh, a film was the, the medium I chose and I wanted to channel everything, all the questions that I had and the processes that, that I was going through at the time. I wanted to channel it into a work of art that I could share with with audiences and hopefully either inspire, help or just entertain uh, people through my struggle uh, rather than sort of, you know, go in, inward and become self-destructive, which I think is a very easy thing for for people to do. So, yeah, I, I sort of put all my experiences and stories and questions uh, into the dunes and I had an amazing time writing it. Um, it's, you know, I would define it as a, an art house uh, dramatical thriller and it you know it taught me a lot along the way the film's taken me five years to to complete and I'm incredibly grateful for everyone who's been a part of it it's been a, a really sort of uh, big journey and a long process and I've learned a hell of a lot uh, about what to do and more importantly what not to do when making a film um, which brings us to the challenges that I faced in the making of the film. Uh, there were a lot. <laughs> there were a lot of, uh, of challenges. Everything from, you know, issues with footage, getting into post-production and realising that uh, I, I'd lost an entire reel of footage. Uh, I didn't, but it got lost. But I was steering the ship, so I did. Uh, I had sound issues, I, you know, I had financial issues with, 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 with hitting our budget and, and, and then not hitting the budget and having to, you know, having to raise money and uh, doing a Kickstarter campaign to get the film over the line and 
Having to ask favours from a lot of people uh, in order to get the film finished and I've been very, very, very fortunate that I've had some incredible people around me who have, uh, you know, lent their support. Um, and I'm also very lucky that they've been very good uh, at what they do to, to make the Dunes what I think is a, uh, you know, com competitive film in the marketplace for the budget that it is. You know, it's a, it's a very low budget film. But I think we have high production value and um, I think the, the quality of all, that all the technicians have put into the film really, it does stand out uh, against other films of this budget. What do I want audiences to take away from the film? And what else do I think that viewers should know? Um, first and foremost, I just, I hope they enjoy the ride, you know, of the film. I hope they're engaged. I hope the film speaks to them in some way and, and grabs them. Uh, you know, I know when I'm watching movies, I've only learnt recently when I'm not into a film, it's when I start fidgeting and checking my phone and uh, needing to go to the bathroom or wanting to go and get a snack that, that I'm not into the film and I'm really hoping that I've made something that, that does engage the audience and, and then within the story, I, I hope that the story that I've told speaks to them. As I said, it is a, it is a cautionary tale um, I think at its true core about, you know, dealing with your problems and what happens when you don't. And the characters within the story, I think they all have their own challenges and, um, you know, I, I, ju I guess I just want audiences to primarily be entertained by the story and, um, but also, you know, hopefully take away some meaning for it, from it uh, in, what, in whatever capacity that might be for them that's one thing that I've always loved about art is that it gives you the opportunity to learn without having anyone sort of jam information down your throat and say that you should see things a certain way um, I've always loved that about painting and uh, music and I've always loved it about performance art and but in particular in particular cinema where you can incorporate all of those aspects I think the primary one is get out there and do it. Um, your art doesn't have to be perfect, um, but if you don't do it, it's non-existent. And I know for me, the best thing that I've ever done is just get off my ass and and make something. You know, in in I think in whatever endeavour you're pursuing, you've just got to do it and. It's, I think it's very easy to have an idea of perfection that, that we all want to reach and achieve. Um, and I think for me, that's in my early, in the early stages of my career, that was one of the most limiting things because often it hindered me. Um, you know, where I wanted to go seemed so far away from where I was. And the journey really did feel overwhelming. And that was just all uh, conditioning that I think I'd put in my own head. And as soon as I realized that all I had to do was you know, get up, pick up a, a pen and a paper, write a little script, get my camera, shoot something, put it in the computer, edit it, I've got a film. So it um, doesn't have to be the best thing in the world, but I always feel like I'm better off with something, some kind of, you know, artistic creation than nothing at all. Because it's too easy to, to sit around talking about the things that we want to do. Um, but I think just having the courage to get off the couch and, and, and do them is probably the most important thing. For everyone that's been a part of the film, it's as I said, it's been a five-year process. Um, it's not the sort of thing that I could have done on my own. Um, although I have tried to carry a lot of, a lot of the weight myself, I couldn't have done it without really supportive people around um, and I'm just really grateful for that. You know, I've learned so much throughout this process and it's kicked the shit out of me. Um, emotionally, it's been, I thought I knew <laughs> what it was, what it was going to involve um, and it, it has been that but so much more um, and it's been a real challenge and um, as tough as it's been, 
all I want to do is, you know, make another movie. So I've, I've found it very, very rewarding and I, I think it's a, an incredible endeavour and I, for anyone that's watching this, um, if you have a passion, just all I can say is, is follow it and go for it. Um, be realistic and you don't have to be perfect. Just do your best.